Hi everyone, today is Monday, December 23rd, 2019, 4.32 p.m. I am at the Sun Moon Lake Stone and an absolutely gorgeous sunset right here. This is an area with great feng shui and one of the most beautiful places in Taiwan. And now I am going to go into Wenwu Temple, which is a major Taoist temple in the area. This is the main gate. Really, really impressive with two dragons on either side, or lions rather. This is different than the Buddhist temple which I saw earlier, the um, Xuanzang temple. Here there's a big gilded container in the building burning, I mean container in the middle burning incense. So the correct way to enter this building is to go through the right door and then exit through the left. You need to step over this. This place is impressive. So you can see the white city in the center, long beard, great face. His name is called Guan Dong Guan Lingzang. He is the most popular deity in Taiwanese culture. Almost every city you can see he was worshipped in, in, in a temple. Because he is the symbol of royalty and justice. Yeah, you gotta watch your step there. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. 
Yeah, we are appreciating cultures. Yeah, I'm just kidding. This is really impressive, everyone. All the different colors and architecture. Long beard. Yeah, what is his name? Wang Gong. Yeah, okay. Now we are going to see the one on the left. Uh, the one on the left. White face, you know, long beard. He is another, another, uh, the saint of the martial art because, again, he's also a very famous historical figure. Yue Fei, his name is called Yue Fei. Yue Fei. So Fair. both of these two figures in our history, in our culture, are considered the royalty of just uh, the, the saint of justice and royalty. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now we're gonna go to the uh, third floor. We're gonna say hello to Confucius. Okay. That's right. Okay, then do you know what is this? What is this? No, this is money. This is money, yes. Yeah, of course, but you cannot use that to, in the 7 Eleven. This is for the deity. Deity, yeah, for the god, for the goddess. <laughs> Well, there's even more to the right here. Watch your step, people. There's a step there. Okay, dear folks, this is Confucius. Yeah, in, in China, in Taiwan, in Singapore, I think everybody knows him. Yeah. Because he is the a teacher of teacher and the greatest philosopher in China. In China. <clears throat> Can you imagine that, you know, almost 3,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, he was the very first one to advocate the importance of education. He says everyone need to go to school to learn. And what do they need to learn? He says everyone go to school to learn six techniques. Do you know what are, the, what are these six techniques? Okay, these six basic techniques right courtesy. You have to learn good manner. Okay. Second is everyone needs to learn how to write calligraphy. And third, everyone need to learn computation. Compute. You know, you have to learn one plus one because later you will involve the, the business transaction. And number four is everyone need to learn PE. 
physical education. Mm. Basketball, you know, baseball. But no, 3,000 years ago, there's no baseball, no, you know, um, soccer of that sort. But it says through the archery to stress up your physical body. Stress up. Okay? And you also need to learn music. Everyone had to learn one instrument of music. Last one. Last one is everyone need to learn how to drive. <laughs> See, everybody is laughing. See? Yeah, and then of course, 3,000 years ago, there's no Toyota, no Mercedes Benz, no BMW. But it says the meaning of driving is through riding a horse. You know, because the, all the time, the so-called vehicle actually is a chariot, is led by horses. So you have to learn how to ride a horse. Through, um, you know, how to ride a horse. So you know how to manipulate the chariot. So it says, everyone need to go to just learn the six basic techniques. 3,000 years later, today, we look at the school education all over the world. These are six techniques, just exactly the core value of school education, right? So but he already had this one 3,000 years ago. Yeah, this is in 3,000 years ago, he already had this one 3,000 years ago. Look, in 3,000 years ago, today, this is not just the world's education system. 中心的价值嘛，每个人都要开始学写字啦，学数学啦，学这个，尤其是礼貌。Okay, then of course he, you know, his his lecture in the class in the class, you know, we collect, and these lectures become the guideline for our life. Also become the norm of the society. So that's why we all respect him as the, the teacher of the teacher and the greatest philosopher of China. And you know, September 28th, every year, September 28th is the happiest day for the kids because no school on that day. His first day. Yeah, okay, so this is the, the, from, uh, the background information about that. But as a matter of fact, you know, Confucius, this one, you know, because we want to let people know who he is. Normally, you know, I was, very, I was impressed by, although he's very, you know, respected, but, you know, but he insists, you know, in his theory also tell us, should not worship idols. See? But you know, so that's why I say actually, you know, in the all the time, you know, you know, you know, you, you know if you want to you know go to the Confucius temple, you see nothing, just a word Confucius kind of like that. But now you know later because we want to let people know who he is, that's why we have this statue of this. But actually he's the one he strongly opposed that should not worship idols. Yeah. Okay, this way, this way. This way. So I reserve, I reserve a ten minutes for you. Okay, take photos with the beauty, particularly. Before you get on bus, make sure to go over the street. There's a big rock, a big rock. Yeah, take a photo with that rock because the rock says some on the lake in Chinese. So that's the proof you can do some Taiwan. Okay. Or you can take a photo from that side. You know that uh, you can see the sunset or the other the other angle of the the summer lake. Okay, mm -hmm. five o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think so. Good enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Five o'clock when we get on bus. Yeah, I know it's been a long day. Everybody get up early today, so we we check in hotel from the from here to the hotel. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah.
Okay, so what's over here now? Wow, another statue here. Skyjack, wow. Well, I don't think I have enough time to do the skyjack because it's only five minutes. Well, ten minutes. But that was some interesting information about Confucius and the other deities. Very nice. This is beautiful. So I didn't go inside this room. Let's go in there. Don't forget, you gotta go in through the right and exit through the left. It's considered rude to do it the other way. Okay, so now it's time to exit the temple. Looks like the sun's pretty much gone down already at Sun Moon Lake. Before I head back to the tour bus though, I want to show you these two gigantic lions. Really, really crazy.
Wow. Now this is the rock which says Sun Moon Lake. All right. David, help take my picture. Sure, sure. All right, well, okay, you use this. this one? Yeah. <laughs> wow, this lake is incredible. It's majestic. There's also a trail down there too you can walk on. Well anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of Wenwu Temple and the rock of the Sun Moon Lake. If you did, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel and I'll see you all soon. Take care.